All right, man, I'll see you up there. All right, I'll meet you at the wild just to get the red Sounds good. Well, it was a cold night last night, huh? <laughs> 26 degrees. I stayed right there, man. My, my pad was so cold last night. It was the first time my pad didn't have enough R value for me. It's ought to be the last cold pop we get, though. Um, for anybody wondering, that is about 50 yards of trail right there. I came through the parking lot, so. Back on trail. Cool having my pops out here. I know he loves this place. He's probably been here like four or five times with him and his wife and then by himself, I'm sure. It's this thing he likes to get in the car and drive. Been to like every national park, every state park, maybe not every, but most of them. So I know he's having a good time. That's good, good stuff. Feel bad for leaving him hanging. It's like two days late to the park. I know he's ready to rock and roll, but he wants to see me through the end, you know? It was my fault on the communication the days before he got here. But great to see him. So grateful he could make the trip. It means a lot. Well, looks like that's the first shelter of the day. Way off trail. We'll pass that up. First water source of the day. Very nice. I gotta drop a layer. Toasty. Pops didn't have any water in the truck this morning, so I got some Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Not too bad. Not too bad. Sugar though. Sweet for morning time coffee. Great for that. Nineteen miles up from Smith Roach Gap. Probably what I'm gonna shoot for. Let's see what I'm feeling like when I get about halfway. No reason to push it. Pops is gonna be around for another day, I think. Gonna drop a layer, but now I'm chilly again. Plus, we're going downhill. I'm gonna just wait 
See if I can't make a little bit further. Sure, I'll have to drop one eventually, but. I've definitely heard that to be like a true through hiker, you have to start your hike in the morning with no clothes on, or you know, very little clothes, what you plan on hiking with during the middle of the day, and just stick it out until you warm up. And I suppose that's a strategy if you're trying to make your like maximum amount of miles possible that day. But if you're not in a gigantic rush, I'd rather just take an extra three minutes to stop and take a layer off. I feel like that's stressful hiking when you're like freezing cold and you're going your max, max speed for body heat. That's probably when injuries are more likely to occur. Unless I'm in a rush, I'm gonna hike with the puffy till I get hot. This is the first road gap coming from Smith Roach. A weird road gap name, Smith Roach. High top. I like it. So I know a lady right now who's going through the cancer battle. Um, I know her through a mutual friend, so I know him a lot better than her. But I feel like I know her from everything I've heard. Uh, if you could please, you know, say a prayer for her. Her name is Denise Harlow. Good lady. She's in the hike in the trail right now. Or she's not hiking right now, but she's, you know, as she's been fighting cancer for like a decade, I believe now, she's been hiking and doing marathons, doing everything she can to stay active and motivated through all the treatment. It's really inspirational. She has a, uh, a GoFundMe. And if y'all could check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. I know her, um, her medical bills are getting really pricey now every month. Somewhere, you know, 15, 18 grand, something like that. So if y'all could find it in y'all's hearts to say a prayer and donate, that'd be really cool. I'll leave her information in the description or maybe I'll have it slide up here.
about to meet Pops at this little picnic area. Me a ham and pepper jack cheese sandwich, triple decker. I am hiking with a full pack. Well, two days of food, but you know, there's ham and cheese sandwiches to be had. Why not? And if you're in a slack packing, then go for it. If that's what makes this fun for you, if that's what gets you out here, go for it. Here's our camp, Brown. Got some screaming and hollering going on over here. Like a birthday party or something. Right, got a triple decker ham sandwich in me. Nice cup of coffee. Ready to roll. About eight miles in for the day. Around noon. Still chilly. It's not expecting it to be this chilly. Trying to get some body heat going after that sandwich.
This is kind of random out of right field, but one thing that really interests me is the placebo effect. The highest of government agencies use it as a means to decide which drugs are safe and effective enough for us to take and which ones aren't. But that's where the conversation stops. It's a well-documented phenomenon, the placebo effect. But they don't tell us about the possibilities that exist when you lay out those parameters, right? Like if they're using it to test stuff that's that important, then what could you use it for besides testing drugs? Food for thought. I don't know if they just don't know enough about it to tell us, teach us about it like in grade school or if they're scared of what, what all we could do as a species if we understood the possibilities there. Pretty sure this is birch, birch bark. We need to start a fire. Really not an expert, so if I'm wrong, someone correct me in the comments. Ah, uh, look here, this is the... I guess I'll pack it to the next parking lot. Point one viewpoint. Why not? Like that tree is twisted off.
pulling up to the bear fence parking area. Have to do me a ham, pepper jack, cheese, triple deck around two. Sammy number two, check. Can anyone tell me what kind of feather this is? Need to tie this string around it a little bit differently so it can hang. It's kind of stuck in there right now. I like it. But if it's like a vulture buzzard feather, I'll probably ditch it. Another side note, if I had a redo, instead of that big heavy windsock I had around my hammock, I'd have a warbonnet hammock like Reddy had with a sill poly cover. That would have cut down on weight, took the place of the bug net, and killed the wind just as much as the windsock. It's food for thought. Been a while since I said this, but so grateful for the support, guys. Views, the comments, everything. It means so much. It keeps me going. Grateful. Millum Gap. Time for Hammy number three. There's Pops filming me, filming him. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna just cowboy in the back of the truck tonight, try to get a full night's sleep. Lord knows I'm behind. You been sleeping good lately? Oh, me, yeah. <laughs> Snug as a bug with this electric blanket. I know you got cold that first night, but it's well, been I good. My, I had my sleeping pad backwards, upside down. Yeah, it's been good ever since, huh? I flipped it over, hot side down. Yeah, yeah. Right. Glad you're warm and toasty in here. You got nice. Good to hear. 